so first of all I'm gonna sort the cables for two basic types, the USB-C and the micro USB. So the next thing you'll need is some device to measure the power going through the cables. You can use a socket with a measuring display like this, you can use a DC power supply or you can buy a small device like this that measures the power going through the cables. So next thing you're gonna need is some device to use for measurement. So for example this cell phone can handle up to 35 watts. So I'm gonna use this cable that I know that should be the high power cable to somehow find out the default setting that it's charging now. So as you can see, these cables can put out more than one amp, one and a half, 1.6, 1.4, so they are considered a perfect cable with a good power load. So the whole point of this test is to find cables like this. With the cell phone I can reach up to 1.4 amps, but as you can see this one is charging like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 amps, so it's third of the energy that the cell phone could take. As for the micro USB cable, I'm using uh, an adapter from USB-C to micro USB to make the test as precise as possible. After measuring all the cables, I got three separate groups. These are great cables, good cables and going straight to trash. Uh, because the cell phone could handle in this state of charge about 1.6 amps, these cables put it to the maximum use. Uh, this group is for cables that were around 1.2 or 1.3 amps and all of these cables were below 1 amp so I consider these as too slow, not good quality and throw them away Maybe you are asking what's the whole purpose of this test So uh, basically I found out uh, some time ago that some of these cables especially the ones that I throw away are not charging the devices but discharging I found it out in this power bank that after three hours of charge I had from 50% charge to 25% so it depleted the battery more than it charged. Another perfect example would be I've made the tests on the cables I have at work. You now see uh, charging a tablet at 1.8 amps on a perfect cable and uh, 0.16 amps on a faulty cable, so it's a huge difference when you need uh, to save time at work. So thank you for watching my video, if you like it, please consider subscribing or liking the video and if you would like to see more content like this, just let me know.